Don't pass go. Don't collect 200. Ducks on the power play. Kempard loses his skate play again. I mean, it's unthinkable that you could do it two games in a row. Yeah, back to back. It, it is unheard of. It makes you think. I don't know if it was the same foot. I'm not quite sure, but either way, watch. He pushes it away there, and you are so helpless if you don't have that blade. Watch him right here. He doesn't even know he doesn't have it. Then he goes for the push right there. And it's like, wait a minute, what happened? Who put oil on my blade? And then the Ducks player just kind of picks it right off his back, and that's the last we'd see him get for this. To, to, to our shock and awe until the end of the game. Yes. Well, the uh, <laughs> but the minutes ago, as do get on the board, and who else? From an impossible angle, somehow, some way, Kale McCarr gonna do it. Great part about this goal is Kale McCarr just shoots the puck. He doesn't get fancy. So here's a broken play. Found a little hole, goes to the side. This is Rogers' first assist of the night. He just shoots the puck. I love it that the Avalanche are keeping it simple. You wouldn't think that goal would go in 100 years. But like Gretzky says, you score 0% of the shots you don't take. I love his face right here, like, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'll take it. It's cool, huh? <laughs> Spins away. Didn't take the ads long. Back of the net in the second. Devon Taves going to hammer one, but keep your eye on it. New hook. Just perfect. What a deflection. You know, similar to Kadri's goal, except this one is almost more impressive. Look at that deflection. Pulls out about an 8-iron, turns the wedge into an 8-iron. Right there, deflects it. Top shelf. That's a beautiful goal on many, many levels. Well, midway through the period, as the step constant pressure in the offensive zone, it's going to pay off. Nicholas Abe Kubel, he's going to whip once and then hammer it. 3-1. Kyle, I scored a goal like this once in Toronto. I literally went to shoot the puck, and I, I whipped it right there. And then it came back to me, and it's the greatest gift because the goaltender doesn't react. He has no idea that it's coming, so it's like you made the greatest fake play of all time. And all you got to do is put it in the open net, and there he goes. Why not do it all the time, you know? Well, that's what the best players in the world do. All right. Pluggers like me, no, you need some luck. Start the third with a little five on three, and it's not very often you get to see a special play like this. It, don't think for a second Nico and Nas don't know exactly what they're doing. It's just perfect. I'm going to break this down next game to show you how it all came around. It's the brilliance of Nico. It's almost like he's just he's like a lion in the grass. He's just hiding it. Carter, he's down at the bottom, and also he just pounces off. Nobody sees it coming. Gibson's sleeping. The players are sleeping. Kadri, that was 21 points in 10 games. Field. Watch this. Burakovsky going to dance like Fred Astaire and dish like Wolfgang Puck. Nachushkin, upstairs where Momo keeps the mustard. Was that the mustard? Mustard. Mustard, the great coupon. Look at that play. Oh, it's so top shelf. For a costume, smooth night. Everybody played so well. Just a little dish. And watch the top pickles. Oh, my goodness. Posting in. Tutu is crushing it since he's been back.